Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie, and this is Tuesday, night number two of our mini catalog, January to June mini catalog and celebration kickoff. So welcome. Uh, I don't know if you were able to join me last night or not, but last night was the first night. Um, unfortunately, because it was uh, the first night and the night before um, the catalog actually went live, I was not able to show you the catalog, but tonight I can. So I will uh, certainly share some of the, uh, the wonderful goodies from there. If you're wondering why I keep looking away, it's because I'm trying to just um, get this called up on uh, Facebook and it's not cooperating with me because it's technology and because things went went quite well last night so you know I guess maybe I'm due right isn't that how it goes here we go there I am hopefully this oh there's sound and I don't know how to I have I have my I haven't muted I don't know why it does that but uh I hope you can't hear that that's probably going on to the recording and everything else don't want to be casting it to the TV. I turned, I turned the volume down, and I put the whole thing on mute. I thought, I thought I muted my whole, uh, the whole thing here. So let's just go back here for a moment, folks. Sorry, sound is on mute. It's on mute, mute. Why is there any sound? There shouldn't be any sound if it's on mute. <laughs> Maybe it's gone now. Oh, it comes up when I have Facebook open. Grr. Very frustrating. I uh, I don't know how to I don't know how to change this. <laughs> anyway, hi Donna. Great to see you again. Thanks for uh, for joining me again tonight. So um, I am going to flip this down right away because uh, tonight is uh, is is exciting because look. The catalogs, which uh, which you may recall looks a lot like what I showed you last night, doesn't it? Only tonight, we can actually open them. So, hey, Lorna, thanks for joining us tonight. You, you picked a good night. Last night, this was all we got for catalogs. This is all I could show because the catalog was not actually live. But tonight it is live. Uh, so I can actually open pages and show you what's inside. Um, table of contents, not the most exciting page. Uh, a note from Sarah, some questions and answers from Sarah. Uh, some information about our, our kits and paper pumpkin. And now we start to get into all of the goodies. So the sweet talk suite, um, pretty, pretty colors, lots of hearts and love, obviously suitable for uh, Valentine's Day, but um, just for anniversaries, for love, um, anything like that, even birthdays. And you probably can't see the, the designer series paper too, too well, but there are hearts on a lot of these, but the flip side is not necessarily Valentine's Day with the exception of one page that uh, has, has some double stuff, actually maybe two, now that I'm looking at it, uh, two that have Valentine's things. But these other patterns, don't have to be for Valentine's Day. So, but lots of Valentine's projects you can make too. And there is the um, the gingham embossing folder that we looked at last night. And I have not uh, run this through with ink on it as I said I would. So I will still do that this week. Um, I got called into work for today. So I was on the hill and I have to tell you it was a beautiful day on the hill. The snow is back. Uh, Blue Mountain's been doing an awesome job making snow. And so the hills were white again. They were kind of had lots of brown last Saturday. It was not, not a really good situation, but the hills are white again. The sun was shining. I had some awesome people taking lessons today. It was just a great day. So I was really happy that I had been called into work <laughs> so sometimes seems a little odd but uh anyway yes okay so i am going to 
flip a few more pages into the catalog. I'm going to page 14 and 15. And I will show you a little bit of the flowering fields suite. It is tulips and um, windmills and just uh, some really pretty, pretty things, including beautiful designer series paper. I do not have this designer series paper, but uh, the catalog's live now and I have to do an order tonight yet. <laughs> I was gonna do that this morning, but there I was working. So anyway, um, here's the butterflies that we looked at last night, the brushed uh, brass butterflies and some pretty uh, window pane ribbon in evening evergreen. So. That's kind of fun. I want to get that. And I think I want to get this tulip uh, tulip set because I think that would be something fun to share with, with you. Um, and I haven't played with a lot, but we did see this at on stage. These tulips are folded and kind of 3D, but I kind of think that they're relatively easy to make. So. That's my hope. Uh, there are lots of uh, lots of dies in here, um, but this one, like I have to buy the die set just to get this. Can you see that? That's not very focused. Come on, focus right here. Focus, focus. Oh, it doesn't really want to focus too well tonight, does it? Anyway, it looks like a really fun uh, little strip of garden with some beautiful flowers in it. So I think that will be fun. There's also uh, these dies, if you want to make some windmills or some scenes with uh, tulip, tulips and fields and all the rest of it. There's a beautiful picture on the next page here. I'm going to flip it over. You can see this card. Look at, this is, I haven't seen the tulips in the fields in Holland. When I was in Holland, it was not the time when the tulips were uh, blooming quite like this, but this is this is for real. <laughs> if anyone's been to Holland, um, they just, they have fields of tulips and, and it is a breathtaking view. So anyway, you can, now you can make it in a card <laughs> and you can, uh, you've got dyes to cut out your windmill and, and all the rest of it. So that, uh, really fun suite of products here as well. Um, I'll just give you a, a quick flip over to the next page where we have the rainbow of happiness. Um, we talked about this a little bit last night and this will be featured tomorrow night. I will be using the rainbow of happiness bundle. So you'll see some projects with this. And this is also the suite that I am using for the January class. So um, a fun, fun suite, fun dies to cut out rainbows and rainbow bits and pieces and stuff. So January card class uh, coming up later this month, that's the one. And there is still time to register for that if you are interested. Hey, um, look at the little ladybug, ladybug wings. And there is a coordinating punch with this. So this is a bundle. Um, I'm thinking this might be quite popular. Um, we will, we'll see. <laughs> but uh, yes, it often is quite uh, popular. Anything with a punch. So um, yes. So we'll see. I don't have this one yet. So I won't be able to show you any um, projects with this this week. But We'll see for the future. Okay, there's a whole bunch of things in here, but I'm going to skip past some of them uh, for tonight. We'll come back to this again tomorrow night. I did want to show you though, page, starting on page 58 and continuing uh, for the next few pages is the heart and home suite. And we touched on this just a little bit last night. Um, there are two stamps and two die sets in this, so two bundles. Um, there is also the, just gonna pull this back a little bit, sorry, the hive 
uh, embossing folder that we looked at last night and the, the cardstock for that, that we used in one of the cards. The um, classic matte dots in white, uh, vanilla, gray, and black. Uh, we used those on one of the cards. And then uh, there is some lovely designer series paper here. So this whole suite, uh, oh, I missed some doilies and some memories and more cards as well. So there's, and some ribbon. There's all sorts of things in this suite. It's a huge suite. Um, it does continue over onto this page, the uh, Blessings of Home stamp set and the uh, Honeybee Home stamp set. So those are the two stamp set. There are coordinating dies with all of those and then all the rest of the accessory products. And this is the suite that I mentioned last night that we are going to be featuring as the main suite for our online global retreat. This is the uh, online retreat that is coming up February the 12th. Uh, if you are in Canada or the US, February 13th, if you are in Australia. And this is uh, three demonstrators. So I've gotten together with a demonstrator from the United States and another one from Australia. And we've put together this uh, retreat in a box. So you will receive uh, a box shipped to your home. It will have all sorts of uh, wonderful goodies. It'll be like kind of like Christmas. So you will receive over $30 in um, brand new Stampin' Up! product from this new catalog. Um, you will uh, receive uh, everything you need for some make and takes, some pillow gifts. Um, we will get together online on Facebook and we will do some crafting, share some tips and some tricks and uh, hopefully some inspiration and just have some crafting fun together, have some uh, door prizes and uh, lots of fun, lots of crafting fun. So that is coming up on February 12th. And again, uh, I will be sending an email uh, a little bit later this week with all of the details, everything that's included and uh, how to register for that and everything else. Just wanted to let everyone know about uh, this very international online retreat that we have coming. So that is that one. Okay, uh, look, celebration. Wow. Uh, before we take a look at celebration, no, maybe we'll look, take a look because this is where, this is where all the free fun happens. So how can we not look at that? So, celebration for every $60 that you spend, you may select what they call a level one item for free from this brochure. This stamp set Island Vibes is one of them. Um, there is also a double celebration uh, level. So if you spend $120, you may either select two of the level one uh, items or you may select one of the level two items. And the level two items are just uh, bigger, you'll see as we go. So flipping over uh, some designer series paper, Daffodil Afternoon. This paper is gorgeous. I will show you this in just a minute, live and in person, full size. Uh, so you can see it much better than this, but it is, it's one of those papers where you just pull out each piece and it's like, oh, oh, I like that one. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so um, this will be very popular. I will tell you that there is also a daffodil uh, suite or bundle in the catalog that it coordinates with. You can see uh, some of the stuff, the die cuts of the daffodil here. This is another one of the uh, die cuts from the daffodils. So there's lots of, uh, whoops, color and product coordination going on between the, the new mini catalog and um, the celebration one. So, uh, okay. So I am just going to put that down for a moment because I really hope that's not going into the recording, but something tells me it is. So 
might be kind of irritating. Uh, two more stamp sets here, Catching Butterflies. We have a little girl chasing some butterflies. Um, this would be awesome for some really cute cards for kids or uh, just cards to, you know, put a smile on your face. And then uh, how about this? <laughs> this set is called Driving By. Uh, and it, it has, uh, it's got, a, look, an old Volkswagen with a big stack of presents. It's got a, a like, the Volkswagen, the little mini bus guy, and a sports car with balloons. So uh, again, super fun. Um, some awesome cards here, some coloring that you can do on them. If you wanna add some color, lots of things you can do with these stamps. Flipping over, we have sunshine and rainbows. So here is the designer series paper. We saw some of this last night. Uh, and you will see more of this tomorrow night when uh, I'm using the, uh, the Rainbow of Happiness bundle. I will put it together with some of this designer series paper. This is six by six paper. So lots of different patterns and lots of fun. Look at, look at the just awesome colors and lots of bright fun. Okay, then we have well, should I do it this way? <laughs> anyway, uh, here we have some Simply Marvelous. It's Simply Marvelous paper. Um, <laughs> some, it looks like marbled paper in all different colors. Uh, so just lots of uh, swirly patterns and stuff. Great for backgrounds and that sort of thing. Uh, and great for sort of a, a watery kind of look to show off. Oh! Look at those otters. <laughs> Look at those cute little guys um, <laughs> poking out of the water and having some fun. So awesome otters. There we go. That, uh, that will be another fun one. This is one of the $120 items. So this is uh, a, considered a level two item. So for this one, um, what you would do is you spend $120, you choose this as your celebration item, you get a full pack of 12 by 12 designer series paper uh, and a stamp set, the friendly hello. And again, this stamp set um, you can color with or you can, uh, you know, spritz or sponge or use your markers, or last night we used the blender pens. You can color these with your blender pens or your stamping blends, alcohol markers, lots and lots of coloring options. So um, these cards certainly lend themselves to coloring if you want, or you can just use them as uh, line images just with the one color that you stamp them in. So again, lots of options. And that is a double item. And then we have a stamp set. If you are looking for uh, <laughs> the all-inclusive uh, sentiment stamp set, 21 stamps, all different sentiments. And I don't have this one yet, although I'm hoping to get it really soon. Uh, some awesome sentiments in here. I think you're wonderful. Happy birthday. Um, thinking of you, some of the classics that we, uh, we need. Um, today, uh, it's, oh no, it's okay to feel the feels. So yeah, sometimes we need to know that it's okay to feel what we're feeling. Um, with sympathy, kind of need that one. Hang in there. Probably some people that could use that these days, eh? Uh, and thanks for brightening, brightening my day. Well, how many people would we like to say that to? Because uh, just nice to let people know that we appreciate them. Um, so best wishes, lots and lots, 21, 21 sentiments in that stamp set. So you can select that one if you choose with a $120 order. If you are interested in hosting um, a workshop or you want to gather some friends, um, I am doing virtual workshops now. So we get together. The easiest way to do it is with our kits collection. Uh, everybody gets to choose a kit and then we get together and we craft them and we chat and we visit and um, we can play some games if 
if that's your thing. Some people like to play some games. Some people say, yeah, no, we're not playing games. We just want to get together and craft. Um, sometimes we, you know, we just sort of wing it. <laughs> but uh, certainly we can have a workshop. If you are interested in hosting a workshop virtually, you can get in touch and let me know. Um, or if you want to just, uh, you know, share the catalog or online catalog with some of your friends and have them place an order. Um, doesn't matter. Or if, if you have a really big wish list, if you have a really big wish list, you should just join and be a demonstrator. But um, anytime you put together an order of $375 or more, you will get this bonus stamp set absolutely free. And that's in addition to all of the uh, celebration rewards that you and your friends get uh, for each $60 purchase that you've made. So lots of, uh, lots of great reasons to, you know, gather some friends together and see if you can get to a larger order. And then you can have this really pretty common camellia stamp set, absolutely free as a bonus. Also during celebration, there is always a bonus if you uh, join. And if you are interested in joining uh, my team, the Great Stamping Believers, we would love to have you. Um, we're, a, we're a friendly group. Um, and I'd say we don't bite, but oh gosh, we only gather virtually these days. So it's kind of hard to bite. So maybe, maybe we will bite after, but no, no, we're a friendly group. Love to craft together. Um, chit chat, at our team meetings. We have lots of fun at our team meetings and somebody uh, somebody usually shares a, a how-to kind of project with us. We step through um, lots of creativity sharing and that sort of thing. So all fun, all good. And uh, if you join during celebration, uh, you will get the starter kit. You will pay $135 you will get $165 worth of any products that you like um, from any of our catalogs or anywhere. It's completely your choice. And then as a bonus during celebration, you will also get to choose two stamp sets for free, any stamp sets. So they can be from the mini catalog or they can be from the annual catalog, whatever you like. Um, but two extra stamp sets completely free. So um, that's a wonderful bonus. And there is uh, shipping is paid for when you order the starter kit. So it's an awesome value uh, because you, you know, you get a lot of product at a good price and then you get extra product for free. You don't pay for shipping. So that's uh, a wonderful thing. So if you are at all interested in joining the Great Stamping Believers, uh, let me know because we would love to have you on our team. So uh, that is that is the celebration brochure. So um, lots of fun there. So tonight I thought I would show you a couple of the uh, papers from the catalogs that we have not looked at closely before. Um, this is the first one, and this is not, oh yes, it does show up on camera. I, there is some glare, I apologize for the glare, but this is called Mother of Pearl paper. And it is shiny and shimmery and all things beautiful. <laughs> so it is, uh, it is wonderful and it will make some, some great, uh, accents on projects. So watch for that coming soon to some cards near you. <laughs> this is, uh, this is in the mini catalog. You get two 12 by 12 sheets of this in each package. Okay. And then, uh, we were talking about the, um, blessings of home suite that will be in our, uh, online retreat the global retreat. And I haven't used that suite a whole lot this week. Um, you'll see little bits of it here and there, but not a whole lot. So I thought I would show you the heart and home designer series paper. So this is the paper. 
Um, it's not overly exciting, but it's lovely wood grains. Um, I don't know about you, but I do really like wood grains. They're such a wonderful neutral thing. They make awesome backgrounds uh, just to add some interest to whatever it is you're working on. And these are all different, all different planks and uh, looks, okay? They are all um, basic gray and white. And so, you know, as I say, maybe not super exciting, but um, I still really like them. But of course, it's designer series paper. Hello, there are two sides. So uh, we have, oops, kind of upside down, but um, we have this beautiful garden green and there's little tiny dots in here. When you look really close, you can see it's like little tiny dots on the background of the paper, but it makes it look almost like, like fabric or something. Like the, it looks like it's got some texture to it. Really, really interesting. Um, so I really like that one. And then we get into some really pretty flowers. So we have pale papaya and Highland Heather. Um, sorry, the first, uh, first one I showed you was garden green. Uh, and then there is fresh, oh, sorry, fresh freesia and pale papaya. Uh, cinnamon cider is not in this one. It's coming up though. And misty moonlight is not in this, but it's coming up as well. So we shall move on. So that is really pretty. Um, similar kind of uh, look with the flowers. This is pale papaya. Perhaps a little bit difficult to see. If I get it up to the camera, does it show up any better? A little bit better. There we go. Um, so again, really, this is a, a small pattern. So it can be great depending what size you uh, piece you are using. Sometimes the small patterns show up really nicely and they're a little easier to work with. So that can be fun. Then we have the Misty Moonlight piece, just a geometric pattern. Um, love that one too, actually. It's Misty Moonlight. How could I not love it? <laughs> and then we have some flowers in Fresh Freesia. And uh, this is, this again has that almost uh, textured sort of look to it. Same as the uh, the garden green one. So that it really is fresh freesia. It does not show up very purple on the camera here, but uh, it really is. So um, yes. but, uh, so okay. And then this is the last piece. So here is the cinnamon cider, and uh, we have bumblebees. It was for just for some fun. So um, that's actually the, the dots are in the back of this too. So it's very common in this paper. It doesn't uh, give quite the same texture sort of feel on this one, but uh, again, really pretty paper, like the bumblebees, lots of fun. So, so there you go. Those are the, uh, the papers from the uh, Heart and Home designer series paper. And then the other one that I told you I would show you this evening is the uh, Daffodil Afternoon. And this is the celebration one. Um, so here again, the um, colors in this one. So we have uh, Flirty Flamingo and Pale Papaya on this one. There is also Crushed Curry, Daffodil Delight, Evening Evergreen, Mint Macaron, Mossy Meadow, and Pear Pizzazz. And these are all on a very vanilla background. So it's not a white background. It's a very vanilla background, which is uh, kind of nice. They don't do as many very vanilla backgrounds as they used to. Um, but it's nice for a change and it gets us using some different colors and some different backgrounds. So kind of fun. Love the checkers here. Um, this is a, I like this piece. 
And then we have some green kind of heart sort of look. A um, little bit geometric, could be leaves, could be hearts, uh, but they are, uh, <laughs> there they are, they're green. And then we have some uh, stripes and I don't know that you'll be able to see a lot. Can you tell there's, there's again, there's little speckles in here. They're white speckles, um, almost, almost appear to be shiny when you're looking at it. They're, they aren't, uh, but they almost give the illusion that it's a little shiny. And this is uh, flirty flamingo and pale papaya. Not really two colors that I would have thought to put together, but they do work. <laughs> Uh, here we have just some uh, very vanilla and black geometrics. So they're great for, uh, you know, sort of toned down if that's what you're looking for. Look at this one. I don't know why. Something about speckles. Uh, this is pale papaya. Uh, again, I don't know about the screens that you're looking at. My screen, the colors are not very true, but uh, just a lovely, all pale papaya with some little very vanilla speckles. And I don't know, somehow this, it calls to me. I really like it. <laughs> and then we have crushed curry. And again, we have a, a sort of geometric pattern. So if you're looking for some really intense color for your daffodils or any other crafting, uh, there's that one. Now, again, obviously designer series paper. So there are fronts to all of these. So here we go. Look at the flowers. Beautiful daffodils here. Um, and, uh, you know, they are flowers as well. Lots of actually a few different kinds of flowers on here, but just pretty, pretty colors and a whole page of flowers. I'd say we're getting ready for spring, but it's maybe maybe a little soon to get ready for spring. We're just kind of starting in on the snow in winter, so <laughs> don't get too excited. Sorry, folks. Uh, here we have um, just some leaves and some greenery and some vines and things. Um, this is an evening evergreen background, so it's uh, it's kind of like a deep, intense background. This pack also has uh, two sheets of uh, these wonderful up and down pages. Uh, I can't even quite get the whole thing in the camera there. Um, but it's fantastic for making quick and easy cards. You, you know, you cut it in the middle uh, or, you know, down a little bit, depending whether you want to lose a bit off the bottom or a bit off the top, or you can do tall slim lines with it super, super easy for card making uh, with designer series paper. And you just sort of let the, the paper do all the work. This is uh, crushed curry again, and this is just line images of the daffodils. So uh, this would make a great uh, accent or background piece again. And now we are into some more of the, the, these are daffodils. I some for some reason when they have the the pink like this, I always think of them as being called nurse narcissus narcissus. Never did say that fast, eh? Um, I don't I don't actually honestly know if there's a difference or not, or whether it's just two different names. One's a more of a botanical name or something. Maybe um, maybe one of you smart people out there can fill us in. But look at this paper. Like it's just like a whole field of flowers growing <laughs> right here on my table. <laughs> anyway, this is lovely. And I love the deep, intense uh, colors that are in this. So, and then the last page, we are uh, back to the dark background again, and then just uh, flowers, but a little more uh, background, fewer flowers, not quite as many, not quite as busy with flowers as some of the other pages. So that's the last piece. So this is just a beautiful package of designer series paper as well. And this, as I said, is uh, one of the ones that you could choose for free uh, during celebration. 
$60 order and you could choose that as your free item. So some wonderful, wonderful uh, papers. There are more, but uh, we will move on from that for tonight because I think it's time to do a little bit of crafting. We haven't done any crafting yet tonight. So uh, I promised you last night that I would have a sketch and I, I drew this out <laughs> last night from uh, some of the sketches that I uh, keep on, on my computer. And then I was looking at it and I thought, I think I've done this before. So this is the same sketch that I used uh, on World Card Making Day. So I pulled that drawing out because this one is actually a little bit easier to read than the one I made uh, last night. So uh, I'm going to use this one again. So we have a card base that is uh, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. So just a standard card base. And then there is a layer of cardstock that is five and a quarter by four. And then there is a, a layer that's going to go here that is five and a quarter by two. And this layer is four by one and three quarters. So a little bit narrower than this one. And then we have a two and a quarter inch square that you could do your image or a sentiment or both on and a little narrow border for it with a two and three eighths inch square, okay? So I will post this on Facebook and uh, then hopefully you will use this sketch and create a card and share it with us sometime during this week. As I mentioned last night, uh, and I apologize because I got called into work, I did not get anything posted today with yesterday's cards. Yesterday we did coloring. So if you po post a, a picture of a card that you colored in the comments when I finally get mine up, um, every time you, you post in there, I will put your name in a draw for some, uh, some prizes. We have some gems. We have some stamp sets. Um, might might see what else I can find in my my box of goodies. Uh, I have I do have some ribbon. I'm not sure that that would be the easiest to mail, but we'll find a way to get to get a wonderful uh, wonderful gift out to the people whose names we draw. So I have cut uh, supplies for two cards tonight. I'm just going to set this one to the side here and uh, bring in this one. So, whoopsie, let's not knock everything onto the floor. Okay, so I have an evening evergreen card base. I'm just going to fold. And then I have a piece of pale papaya. And I have my two pieces of designer series paper, and then that is for my sentiment. So I am going to start by adhering these. So in, in the sketch, this piece is on the top. I suppose in theory, you could put the other piece on top. Oh, I hadn't thought about that before. Sketches, as you uh, may have heard me say, are just, they're a starting point, a kickoff point, um, something to inspire you. You know what, I'm gonna do it this way tonight. I've always done them the other way, but ha, it's a new year. I'm going to uh, <laughs> do things differently this year. Well, you know, order order of uh, cardstock on what I'm making. It's not a big change, but. I'm going to do it. There we go. So just going to put this onto here about, uh, I think about, no, maybe up a little bit more. Up about there. there again, no right or wrong. You can, you can put it on here wherever you would like it. I'm going to put it down there. And then I will come, here's this I debated whether to use this because remember I told you those little speckles, they just, 
they kind of call to me. I don't know. I really like them. You're going to see it on a card at some point. You just know it, don't you? But this is so pretty too. This is one of those pieces of paper where it's like, no, I want both sides. I don't want to use anything. So I have to find, uh, there's a few cards that we've done and layouts that we've done where you really do end up seeing both sides of the paper. I have to pull out one of those and use this paper for that so that you can see both sides because I just don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to put adhesive on either side of that piece. So. Okay. Here. Okay, get this down. One, two. Oh, I did not do a very good job folding that guy, did I? There we go. That's much better. Okay, get this onto here. I also did not cut. Uh, a piece for the inside of this, which I will have to do. And look what else I have done. Uh, Whisper white in, or basic white instead of berry vanilla. I am so fired tonight, ladies. Thankfully, I have all my very vanilla scraps kind of handy. <laughs> so we'll just uh, grab some of these, drop some in the box and I need two and a quarter inches square. Let me just grab my trimmer here. Okay. So this is, it's more than two and a quarter, so we're good. Two and a quarter. Oh, another. I'll, I'll, I'll be optimistic. I'm going to make two cards. I will cut two pieces. It gives me, uh, <laughs> gives me two tries on each side. <laughs> so I always, I always use that fancy double-sided cardstock. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. We're back, we're ready. So that will look better in the long run. So I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to put on these cards, whether I wanted um, an image and sentiment or just sentiment, but I've pulled out the blessings of home. And I was thinking I would just use a little bit of this um, I don't have the uh, daffodil uh, stamp set, so I, you know, I'm using the daffodil paper, but I don't have the, the stamp set that I could stamp some daffodils, but these flowers are very similar, and since I just need a little bit of it anyway, because this is not a large piece of paper, I thought this might work, so... I think that we will stamp some of these. I'm using pale papaya ink and it's this part of the stamp that I want. So it's okay if I get other uh, parts of this, uh, these flowers, that's okay. But I wanna make sure I get this edge. So maybe should have put the sentiment on first, but <laughs> I'm just going to go on an angle like this and we will see if the sentiment fits. <laughs> We're just winging it tonight. <laughs> there we go. We got that on there. And I think that I will do the sentiment with evening evergreen. So I have uh, just mounted. Uh, sentiment from Shaded Summer. Uh, it is not uh, 
not a new stamp set. It's one that we have used before in some of our cards, uh, but there it is there, Shaded Summer. So it has this really nice happy birthday. So I was thinking that I would use that for this card. Did I leave room? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go over my flower a little bit, but it might work. We will see. <laughs> At this point, we might as well finish it off and see what we get. We'll just put that up near the top. Maybe I could have used this because that's pale. I could have used that for the whole background. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> it, it, I don't. I don't think that works really. Um, a little bit. A little funny. Maybe we'll. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to try, try a little more uh, flower, maybe kind of flower over the whole thing. And then we'll just put the sentiment right on top because the sentiment is darker. We'll see. Then we can choose. <laughs> or we can abandon the whole thing and <laughs> start fresh. So if I do it this way, hmm, maybe I'll just plunk it down right sort of in the middle. This is truly creating on the fly. <laughs> there we go. But that is, uh, it's not, it's not super dark because the pale papaya is not, uh, not a super dark ink and on the very vanilla, it's quite subtle. So now we're gonna put the happy birthday right over top and we'll see what we think. I don't know about this. We'll see. We'll see when I lift it off. It'll be the big reveal. <laughs> Are we ready? You know what? I think that kind of works. I'm okay with that. I think we'll go with it. Close up the ink so that we don't get ink on things. And I am just going to give these a little rub with my uh, stamp and chamois because I'm not sure what we're going to use on the next card. It might be the same. Uh, definitely won't be pale papaya because uh, I chose flirty flamingo for the next card base. But <laughs> so we'll get that cleaned up and then re reuse it. <laughs> I won't be regretting it later going, ah, look what I've done. <laughs> now, this is quite a uh, a narrow border. If sometimes when you cut uh, your paper, it seems to be folded just a little bit where the blade ran on it, and you can just use your bone folder to sort of flatten it out. So this is quite a narrow border. So I am going to go to my liquid glue. We'll say goodbye to this one that didn't really work. Oh. this down onto there. There we go. Okay. And then we just need to decide where we want to put it on the card. Maybe right about there, right? Does that sort of work? I think that kind of works. Uh, it's kind of sort of a little bit almost like <laughs> Like the uh, uh, sketch that we used, so we will do that. Yeah, I didn't think that guy was stuck. It seemed like he had the extra layer of paper still on him. Okay. Alrighty, and we will just plunk this right about there, I think. There we go. Look at that. Quite pretty. Just missing one thing, don't we think? <laughs> What's it missing? Mm. Oh, 
gems, gems. Look at those beautiful gems. Okay, iridescent rhinestones. Remember how I told you last night that uh, these were incredible and that I would probably be using these quite a bit? Well, here we go. We're going to add some here. <laughs> so there are three sizes here, and I think I'm going to use the medium. Maybe up here. And the small size. So I'm not going to use any of the big ones on this card. Why you ask? Because, <laughs> just because, I don't know, I'm just sort of looking at this thinking I didn't want really big gems on it. But there, just a little extra bling in the top corner. A little bit hard to see these guys. I should have given them a little bigger press, but uh, you can see it in real life. I may go back with uh, my stamp and write marker and just uh, go over that a little bit to make it darker since I didn't stamp it all that well. And I've now put the whole card together. I'm not tearing it all apart, <laughs> but uh, anyway, there we go. One down, look at that. Second one, I did exactly um, the same thing, but I have a flirty flamingo card base this time. And I used some different papers from the same daffodil package. So this time we have uh, these guys. What if these guys would go, they could go sideways, couldn't they? Ah. So we do this guy sideways, just because, you know, because, because we can. Something different, that guy's kind of up and down. He's up and down, maybe we should do it up and down. Okay, I think so. Okay, maybe, I don't know. It could kind of go both ways, couldn't it? And then what do we do with this? Which one do we put on the top? Hmm, so many questions, so many options. I think we'll show off, I'm gonna show off lots of flowers tonight. So we're gonna do this one on the back again. Let me just grab my adhesive. Uh, and this is, these are the, the front and backs of each other. So um, here we, we have made a choice once again of which side to use, uh, but we're using both. So this right about there. This paper looks like it might be little short. I think we're good. Okay. And we'll put this piece on. Right about here. Sure. Sold. I'm convinced. <laughs> there we go. Now. What do we think for sentiment this time? Should we do, I was thinking do another happy birthday, um, but maybe we'll do, maybe we'll just put a happy birthday right in the middle and see what we think. So I'll use, uh, okay, side one, we have two, remember? This isn't even one of my wrong piece of paper. That's the white one that I meant to get rid of. So we will use the very vanilla. Just go right in the middle, I think, with our happy birthday. I can see where the middle is and get it straight. Okay, well, I didn't quite get it right in the middle and I didn't quite get it straight. <laughs> and that's why there's two sides to the card stock. I'll move some of these things out of the way and I think I'm going to bring it down here where I can see it a little bit better. Uh, actually, I wonder how dark, that's fairly dark, isn't it? Oh, okay, so you know what? Here's what we're going to do for this one. We'll set that on there. I'm going to go back to my evening evergreen. No, I think I should stamp the sentiment first and put the other stuff around it. So, sorry, I'm just going to pull this probably out of the camera for a moment so I can get it hopefully straight, hopefully towards the center. Maybe I want it towards the top though, don't I? What I'm gonna do here, 
this. I'm going to go towards the top a little bit. I have more vanilla cardstock if I need to, but that looks good. Yay. See, it's all about the angle. Sometimes it's kind of tough to, to stamp um, out, out in front. So, and then I have, this is another, um, just a little bit of a greenery piece from the Shaded Summer stamp set again. We'll use that for this one. Let's stick this on here just in case I go over the edges. I think I'm thinking I will. I'm just going to add some greenery here. And I'm going to stamp and stamp off with these so, so we get some fading going on. That. There. Oh, I kind of like that. It's a little bit interesting, a little bit different. Um, so you noticed I stamped and then without inking my stamp, I stamped again. And so you get the two, two shades of green going on, the lighter and the darker. And that is called stamping off. Okay. It's a great technique, uh, especially if you don't have a whole lot of uh, different colored inks. It's a way to get sort of two, two different colors from one ink pad. So a little, a little trick that we use. Okay, we're going to put some of this liquid glue onto this guy. Okay. And get him down back in here. There we go. Okay. I'll put this onto the card base. Skin. Can't, can't see where my edges are when it's overlapping with the same color. That's always a dangerous thing when you're trying to get stuff straight if you can't really see where the edge of it is. Okay, some dimensionals on this guy. Get him popped up. Okay, bring this in. I'll just get these pieces off of here. Whoops. So tomorrow night we're going to do uh, the rainbows. So hopefully you can join me and I will do my very best to get some of this stuff posted so that you can share some of your projects with us as well. Love to see what everyone else is creating in their craft studio, their craft crafting time and uh, all that. So please do share. And, uh, if you do share, I will, as I said, I will put your name into a draw and we have some prizes that we are going to give away later in the week. So we all like something for free. <laughs> Here we go. More of the iridescent rhinestones again, just because, because we can, because I have them here, because I love them. Here we go. Look at those, aren't they fun? Quick and easy, um, a great layout and uh, from this sketch. So I will post that sketch so that you can play along. Uh, I also have this card to share with you. This is that, remember the 12 by 12 that I said cut in the middle, quick and easy. So this is just a piece of the designer series paper on a uh, narrow evening evergreen border and a crushed curry card base. The hello is from the artistically inked stamp set and I punched it with the uh, double oval punch. I did use very vanilla here. See, I knew for that one, just uh, what had it wrong when I was planning uh, these other cards last night. So, um, 
anyway, there's another card. So there's three different cards made with that beautiful daffodil paper that uh, we shared tonight. So, hey, let me just, uh oh, 831, I've gone over. <laughs> Uh, replace the spotlight. There we go. Okay. Well, that's what I have for you this evening. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked some of the things that you saw tonight and uh, enjoyed some of the crafting. I'd love to have you join me again tomorrow night. But between now and then, if you're doing some crafting, maybe you'll uh, do some coloring and share that or uh, use this uh, sketch that we used tonight and share that. And oh, happy faces and hearts. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Love the love. <laughs> okay, everyone. Um, rainbows tomorrow night. So it'll be another happy night with lots of fun colors again. So do stop in 730 on my Facebook page right here. And until then, have a great evening and happy stamping. <laughs> Good night, everyone.